Welcome back to another Unturned video. Today is the final episode of the solo Polaris survival series. Today we will continue with upgrading the base, trading more bases and a ton of PvP against many stacked players. Make sure to drop a like, let's aim for 500 likes. If you reach that goal I will make another survival series very very soon. Subscribe if you haven't already, each one helps I eat on. Last video I announced the mythical giveaway and this is the winner. To claim your prize please join my discord at discord.gg slash ldg and contact me there. Today we are going to run another one which is a blossoming dissipator maple strike. To have a chance of winning make sure to like, subscribe and comment something below. Chat members also have a higher chance of winning and if anyone wishes to become a member the link will be in the description below. I would like to introduce you to today's sponsor World of Warships. World of Warships is a free to play game. The game is a team based sea battle where you play with your friends or random people. There are a lot of historical ships to play with with a total amount of over 500 ships spread across 11 different nations. Update 12.4 brings early access to a new branch of European destroyers. To mark the occasion, themed permanent camouflages for tier 9 and tier 10 ships and the commemorative flag have been introduced to the game and the fjords port has been decorated. Everything is designed in art deco style. The early access system lets you obtain ships in advance of their official release. In other words, you can get your hands on ships that will be available for research in the future before anyone else. The ships of the new branch are artillery destroyers, relying mainly on their main battery guns in battle. These newcomers are capable of safe and effectively engaging enemy ships thanks to the combination of smoke generator and surveillance radar. However, it is important to choose the right moments to use them since the surveillance radar has a large radius but a fairly short action time. There is also a console version of this game. If you register the account through the link in the description below, you'll get an exclusive starter pack worth 25 euro for free. This includes multiple items including 500 doubloons, a free week of premium, 2 million credits, tier 4 ship tokens and 6 skilled point commander. Keep in mind this is only for players who register for the first time and let's dive straight into the video. Alright, so we are back in base. Pretty nice. Base is still pretty much untouched, so let's go. Now, today I do want to continue with as much more grinding as possible. Maybe I will continue upgrading base. I do want to make this the loot room fully armored as well, so I'll probably focus on doing that at a point as well. Maybe I'll do some honeycombing. Maybe I'll do the third floor. There's a high chance I actually will, to be honest. But today I do want to do another raid 100%. Hopefully it will be a profitable raid. So now I've already placed some roofs over here and maybe I will continue building completely around. I'm gonna put this wall over there for some honeycomb. Did I bring my axe? Yes sir, I got my axe, I was just chopped down some trees. It takes like one hit to chop down a tree which is so strong to be honest. So I'm gonna chop down as much trees as possible really quickly and I'll probably use it for honeycomb. Since it's wood we don't really care but for now I'll place this wall over here, place it right there, let's go. We'll do up more floors over here. Actually, maybe I could open those walls. And from there, we could literally just expand our base at the bottom. We'll have it a bit bigger. All right, let's get some more trees. All right, so I got quite a ton of wood. And myself a pillar. We need to make this one and another one. And basically, above it will be the main loot room. So I think it'll be a, a genius idea, actually. I haven't built a big base like this in a while. Since I'm always solo, I always build small ones. All right, so we're gonna salvage this. And basically, we're just gonna expand the base. Maybe we'll do doorways here instead. So it still will be technically honeycomb. Now, behind this wall should be my bed. I'm pretty sure. Oh, yes, sir. All right, yeah, we'll do, like, some doorways here. I think that would be pretty epic. We'll put one there for sure. Another one here. And then later on, we'll just do doors. All right, so for now, I did stop yet. Yeah, this second base is still unraided. If you guys are unaware, this base, I basically raided it, and I took it over and made the bed. Now, there's a base very, very close, and we're gonna go raid it. Now, I do have some raiding gear in my vault. It's very, very close to this one, so if we do die, we can easily come back. And the thing is, I know the, who the owners may be. I think they're guys that were door camping me, and I've killed them multiple times, and then they rage quit. Now, basically, this is the base that I do on raid. All right, so I'm just gonna chop down a tree, and maybe we make ourselves ladders. Yeah, it's still unraided, perfect. Now, I do have C4 in my vault. Yes, sir, we got ourselves some wood. I actually don't know how to make a ladder. I think it's just wood, though. Hopefully, you don't need duct tape or something like that. Yeah, it's just normal wood. All right, perfect. All right, so let's just place it right over here. We're gonna make another one. Place it up there. Okay, well, wait, is it raided? Oh, no, it's not. All right, so the second floor isn't even built. So I assume that everything is gonna be in this triangular bit, hopefully. Oh, there's a crate here, and there's nothing, just clothes. Hopefully, it will be a profit trade, man. Uh, we are not true, so now we just gotta use the Brenter, hopefully with one shot. Yes, sir, we're through, and... Uh, is this base completely empty? I just place this roof so we're safe. Yeah, I think this base is empty. Okay, well, this is actually kind of bad. Alright, so we're gonna raid this part. I have enough ammo with the Brenter. It should be, though. I think it's like six shots wood, so we should have more than enough. 
All right, we put three shots till now. Fourth shot. Please open, bro. Hopefully, it's not gonna be empty, though. If it's gonna be empty, I'm gonna be kind of upset. Because then we will have no more. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, there is a ton of crates. Clothes, grenade, and the walnut. Let's put the Brenter in vault. So, it'll be safe. Military drive, crazy, another grenade. Oh, there's a lot of crates, actually. Damn. All right, this one's empty. These are empty. Another walnut. A vest and a bunch of ammo. Vest and a bunch of more ammo. A lot of metal. That's actually really good. A lot of metal sheets. That's actually perfect, man. We can make a lot of metallic parts in our base. I'm gonna take the grenade, obviously. More grenades. That's actually perfect. We need grenades. Another grenade. Walnut, kinney. Bunch of ammo, another kinney. Night vision, nothing that good over here, nothing. All right, well, it's not that bad to be honest, but it's not that good either. The metal is actually really, really nice. There's still a locker we have to raid as well. So maybe the high tier loot is in there. This is metal, we're gonna build probably my armored part of the base. So I'm actually really, really happy with that. I would have hoped for raiding gear to be honest, but it's fine. All right, maybe with the C4, it could be damaged already. We're gonna give it a try. It takes three bullets in total. Yeah, my inventory is just metal. All right, let's reload. Yeah, we only have two bullets. So hopefully, it's already damaged, man. And it is not. Great. I should have a couple of Brenter bullets in my base lying around somewhere. So maybe I'll just try to go get one and we will return. I'm gonna take whatever I can. All right, so I'm back. I actually did find a Brenter bullet, thankfully. Let's salvage this. I made it metallic by mistake because I salvaged the other one and then I couldn't replace it, but it's to- And that that's exactly what I did. Perfect. All right, let's just raid this locker as quickly as possible. Hopefully nobody will hear me, man. Because we're on next to melee and uh, we may get countered, but... Yeah, broke and... Okay, well, a lot more metal, a lot more grenades, sign crystal. This basically was a metallic raid. That's all we got, man. Metal and grenades and some other guns, but that's pretty much it. We did get stuff we need to be honest Just was hoping for gunpowder. Yeah, this is all the cans that we've got I'm gonna take everything from secondary base and we're gonna take it to our main base yeah, I'm pretty sure all of this loot is just was still here from before all right, yeah, let's home. Let's go to our main base. Not that bad of a raid. All right, so basically I made myself an armored doorway. We're gonna place it there. And this is going to be our armored area. We made ourselves an armored door too. And then later on, we'll move all of the high tier lockers. I'm gonna salvage this window as well. Maybe I'll make it into an armored wall. Probably need to salvage all of the crates behind actually as well. Yeah, you're gonna salvage the shutter for sure. That's a definite. And then we'll move all of the high tier loot over here. I think this is the most secure area of the base. Yeah, we gotta move all of the crates. And later on, we gotta upgrade all of these scrap walls into armored walls anyway. So it's gonna take a while because on the server, there's pretty slow salvage. And I wish that you can have a wrench so that you salvage quicker. A wrench is basically a housing planner, but yeah, we cannot buy it. All right, so I made some of the high tier armored lockers. I think they're all display. Yes, sir, they all are. It'll look cool when we have, like, different guns. All right, so after that, I did take a small break for the day. On that day, basically, we just did the raid and we upgraded the base for a bit. But then I joined the server around three hours later. And this is what happened. All right, we are back. Base is still unraided. Absolutely amazing. I logged off with everything. I put everything in there, though. I'm not gonna go with the PMC backpack. That's 100%. Now, probably what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go to my other bed, home tow, at military, maybe PvP there, you know, probably that's one of the most hot spots for PvP. Yes, sir, we're back, and we already hear shots. Right, let's put the PMC backpack in there. Oh, there's a lot of shots, actually, damn. All right, let's go check out what's going on. Hopefully, we don't die. Yeah, somebody is sniping, we'll put the wall there. Oh, there's an airdrop there. Oh, I think that's what's going on. Yeah, there's a guy right over there, I see him. All right, let's just try to get closer, let's try to get this airdrop then. I don't have that much good loot on me anyway. Yeah, there's somebody sniping. Bro, how is he not dead? Alright, one guy dead. Right, they took the airdrop gunpowder though. That's really good. There's more loot down here. Right, let's wear the backpack. Oh, this guy took the airdrop. He has a Brenter. He has a PMC helmet. Alright, let's home and we depot this because there's gonna be more people. We have a Brenter box too. We have a PMC vest. Bro, we have a full PMC outfit technically. Oh yeah, we're back. Let's just depot these because I don't want to lose them. Especially the Brenter ammo, man. And the camo Brenter too. That looks cool. And right, let's de-equip those two. Let's wear the cloth vest. Huge difference from PMC to cloth. And right, we're gonna go back because there's gonna be people there. Back 100%. Technically got the airdrop. We killed the guy that got the airdrop. But let's go see what else we may have missed. Oh, there's a guy there. Oh, how? He's so low. Oh, there's two guys. One guy dead. Bro, I ran out of ammo. 
Oh no. Dude, how is how is the first guy not dead? I hit him so many times and then there was a second dude. It's fine though, I'll go back. That was very, very close. And I ran out of ammo at the worst time, man. Feels bad. Yeah, we're back. Hopefully guns here. There's a crazy some ammo. Let's take some dressings just in case. Alright, please salvage quicker. Come on. Alright, salvage. Let's put the wall. Those guys were geared as well, man. They were stacked. Alright, hopefully he didn't TP. Oh, he's right there. Oh, he's clueless. Oh, he is dead. Oh, there's a lot of loot over here. There's loot piles everywhere, man. Yeah, there's a bunch of guns. I'm not gonna wear the PMC right now because I don't wanna lose it. It's my only outfit. But I do have full PMC now, actually. Oh, we need a backpack. Is there really no backpacks over here? Oh, yeah, there is one. Oh, let's take the guns. False chair. Crazy. Oh, well, we technically killed everyone that came for the airdrop. There's another loot pile here. Yeah, nothing good, though. There's another loot pile. Let's take the ammo. Let's see. There's Polaris flowers here and copper coil. Alright, not too bad. There's a drum. Oh, that's pretty good, man. Oh, there's a lot of chopped trees over here. I don't know what is going on. Are they there building the biggest base on Polaris? Oh, there's a guy there. My guy was hiding in the bushes. And he has a rank, too. So maybe he has insane loot. No, he doesn't. He has a kinney. Please backpack. That's literally it. He didn't have anything good, though. It could be one of these bases that's being built right now. There's too much chopped trees, man. There's a huge base back there. There's a lot of shots going on. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's in the town. Alright, let's try to go counter. Hopefully we don't die. There's a loot pile on the floor. A bunch of ammo. Military drive armor plates. Nothing else though. A lot of PvP happened here. There's a guy right there. There's two guys. One guy dead. Right, I'm gonna push before... Yeah, they just TP'd back. He's right there. Dead. And I am dead. Right, well, they both pushed me at once. Right, we just lost ourselves another kit, but it's completely fine. I got my daily kit right over here. And since we're close to St. Erickson, I'm gonna try to get the two copper coils from here. Alright, so I'm at melee trying to get my stuff back. Got myself a walnut full military kit as well, so that's pretty nice. I'm kind of lucky to be honest, because the server is normal loot. So in order to get all of this loot from one run, it's actually incredible. Military shirt from there. There's a guy right here. Hello. He's dead. Uh, he had the shotgun, Kinney. Nothing that good, though. He was just looting the trenches, poor man. All right, so I'm gonna try to go back where I died. Maybe they're still there. We found... Is this base unrated? Yeah, it's unrated. It's probably empty, though. All right, I'm gonna try to get some medicine next. I need to make more saves in my new loot room. I should have brought the jackhammer, to be honest, but I forgot. But we're, we'll just use the pickaxe. It's fine. All right, so I made myself a filter, and we're gonna go do a dead zone run. We need gunpowder. And maybe even more armored plates, to be honest. But yeah, we got ourselves one filter. Hopefully, it will be enough. It should be. And maybe if there are people, we'll get ourselves some easy loot as well. I think I killed all of them. Let's check out uh, false chair. Alright, that's pretty good. Yeah, we're done from the dead zone. We did it very, very quickly this time. We got ourselves a lot of money. We got ourselves quite a ton of loot. Gunpowder, we got only three, unfortunately. We got ourselves another penguin. We got ourselves a lot of plates, a lot of bevlar. That's basically it. One gun oil and one gun parts. So nothing really that insane, to be honest, but still better than nothing. At least we got gunpowder. I'll right, place all of the plates here for now, and we'll use them later on. Alright, so I'm gonna get myself some lotuses. I should have, I think, enough for three. We do have two C4 in our vault. Let's just get ourselves... We got ourselves two lotuses from that one. That's actually really good. Alright, yeah, we literally got three lotuses then. We had four two, but we got three. So that's pretty nice. Let's put them in vault. That's home. There's a guy there. Oh, he's dead. Okay. Please, he was coming for lotuses. No, he just has a lot of wood. All right, I'll take it, to be honest. Better than nothing. He was probably building a base then. All right, let's home again, because we moved, so we have to redo it. All right, so with all of the logs that we got from that kill, basically, I'm upgrading base, making it a bit bigger. But that's pretty much it. We made the ramp for the third floor, but still, we're gonna close it off for now, because we don't have enough to actually finish it. But we'll do that later. All right, we could place a window there, and later on, we'll just do a shutter. Wait, there's a guy done. Wait, what? Well, my guy was door camping me. He has a rattlesnake, even more. Oh. And it was a duo. Great, I'm being door camped by a duo that are naked with a gun. Oh, it's actually a 3-0. All right, that's even better. Uh, thankfully, they cannot actually come inside since my main entrance is literally from the third floor. So I'll just start jumping down on them and try to kill them all. This was the same guy that I've killed that was over at, at the truck. Uh, he's dead. One guy dead. Let's see where the other... He's right there. That as well. He was naked. I don't think he actually picked up a gun. Alright, well, I'll just take the guns. Yeah, everything is still here. 
And even more loot. Tape. Oh. Bro, they're back already. Yeah, it's the, it's the same dude that I've killed as well. I don't know how they came back so quickly. They either have a bed or a base or something. Let's just go back again then. There's a lot of loot outside. Let me just make sure that I actually close everything. Oh, they're right here. And he's dead. This dude has nothing. Oh, he's dead as well. Oh, yeah, all of the loot is still here. Bro, there's so much logs. We could literally continue building the base. They're bringing me materials to build it. Right, let's just home and in the meantime, we'll pick it, the stuff up so that they don't come back and do the same thing again. But yeah, we got everything and we profited a lot. Yeah, with all of this wood, I'm just gonna continue building the base then. Actually, we could place them down here for now just to make sure that they don't come back. Oh, he is a very sneaky man. Yeah, they don't have anything. If they did, they probably would try to come raid me right now. Or wait for me to go offline since I'm killing them. Which is a high possibility, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but we did profit actually. We got their guns, got a lot of logs. Well, alright everybody, that's going to be it for this episode, and this is the end of the series as well. I really hope that you guys did enjoy. Now, basically, after that, I never joined again. The base actually stayed for around two days, and then it got obviously raided. But yeah, I really hope that you guys did enjoy the series. It was a lot of fun. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!